to see here at this memorial to those who died in Vietnam because until recent events it was the worst thing to happen in my lifetime and I think the worst thing to happen to America it somehow struck the core of our perception of ourselves as a people many of us lost our faith in the vision of the country I fought in the Vietnam War and against it and against injustices in our society. I've been highly critical of what I consider to be the hypocrisy, self-deception, the immorality of some of our national policies. But now something's happened. For the first time in our history, we've been overpowered by a foreign nation. There are those who say it's an opportunity to correct some of the wrongs in our society. Well, as one who has fought for equality in this society, I'll tell you, my struggle was not so that we could all be equally enslaved. No, we're not all in prison camps. We're not all beaten down by an occupying army with tanks on every corner. But we don't need troops to tell us we've lost our vision. We don't need Soviet advisors to prove that we've lost our national purpose. Americans have allowed themselves to become immobilized by their own selfish concerns. Immobilized by a lack of understanding of the freedom secured by our forefathers into which most of us were born and now lost. I've come before you today to ask for your support in an effort to regain our freedom. The battle will be long and hard. There are those of us who will not see its end. If the dream of democracy cannot survive in America, it cannot survive the 20th century. He's touched you. It's true. I don't know either. If we cannot survive the democracy, then it's what all... What is he touching you? A republic democracy. <clears throat> Never thought of myself as an American. You know, patriotic or anything. I always just thought of myself as me. I mean, See, America was where I lived. This is you. I mean, of course I was an American, but it was just there. Nothing I had to think about. Wake up, America. Yet you do outlaw theater. Isn't that patriotic in some way? Guess I don't think of it that way. Why do you do it then? Maybe because you control everything. Yeah, maybe well, the elitists control everything. Is that what he's talking about? I don't know. Would you follow him? I would. I'm not sure. He makes me feel different. Kind of like you. But you're Russian. What about Peter Bradford? You're you in. Well, he's a nice man. I mean, I guess he's somebody I wish my father had been. <laughs> somebody always trying to do the right thing. He makes me feel safe. Kevin Milford doesn't make me feel safe. He's... We are lost. I don't want to play this game anymore. It isn't a game. This man spent six years in a prison camp because we were afraid of what effect he would have on people. That's right, on the UN. And I wish I could understand it's not what it is about him. Soviet you control everything. UN. What difference does it make? You Americans, you're such a mystery to everyone but yourself. If I could understand this man, I could understand America. You what never was it, Daddy? Understand a deal? Reinstated America. currency, Justin? It's it's freedom. Freedom. You bet it isn't fair. Just a second! You've got it is freedom. It. We are freedom. You fucking UN. Just a second! What if they just sit inside and talk? 
It wouldn't be going out. We are freedom, UN. You don't understand that. You never will. I don't understand that you don't understand.